Hey lads, it's Danny here today. I bring you like, a lovely video. So this is going to be the last video of this series of additive and subtractive trig identities. The last one we're going to be doing today is the tan subtractive trig identity. And it's very straightforward, it's very similar as the additive version. So let's get right into it. But before we jump into it, I want you to leave a like and subscribe and let's get into it. Right. So how do you do this? Well, you're going to write it in terms of a sine and cos version of this. You know, tan can be represented as sine divided by cos, you know, and obviously you got, you got to mention the angle, which is 8 minus b and 8 minus b in the denominator. So we have, we have proved these what these are equal to in the prior video so therefore we can basically substitute what they're equal to and we're going to substitute with the subtractive trig identities that we proved in the previous video so this is what we have and you know the next step from here is to add something to the equation so we can make it look somewhat simplified and easy to read like as shown by this proof right it's supposed to be equal to this so the way to make it look like this is we need to introduce something into the equation which is here which is you know it's got to be equal to one right so you know this is basically equivalent as this so you're doing this the number sorry you're doing a variable divided by itself it's just going to be equal to one so therefore we can introduce this and why we need to introduce this well you are going to see in a moment but what we're going to do is multiply one divided by cos of a cos of b in the numerator and then one divided by cos of a cos of b in the denominator and let's basically multiply this in for every to every term in the numerator. Let's start with the numerator. As you like can see straight away, you know, the cos of b's are going to cancel out, which you are going to have is sine of a divided by cos of a. Uh, for the secondary term in the numerator, it's going to be a negative this time around, right? And you got sine of b divided by cos of b because, you know, the, the cos of a is basically cancel out and you know the denominator this is going to cancel out with this it's equal to one and then it's going to be an addition right and then you are going to have sine of a divided by cos of a and then likewise sine of b divided by cos of b for your secondary term in the denominator we can then use a trig identity for tan and represent this as tan functions instead of sine divided by cos and what you are going to obtain is this so this is ultimately the end of the proof if you lot enjoyed this video please drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you lot later